You see, when I was listening to Amoda just then, you know, it struck me that in, in, in societies that we grow up in, in the families that we grow up in, except for the rare, rare, rare cases, we have no models, no other frame of reference uh, other than the self-driven models that have run the show for, for so long. <clears throat> it's almost impossible to remember. And the family is the, in some ways, the epitome of that. Even if it's good, even if it's a healthy family in some ways, the, it's still driven by this, 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 this perennial societal selfing, you know, that, that you guys know because we're exploring the spiritual path. And so relationship ends up being an expression of self. Of course it does. It can't be any other way. You can't suddenly be a conditioned person as we are when we arrive through uh, uh, childhood and adolescence into the world of a 20 year old and suddenly relate from freedom, from openness. It's impossible. It's a, it would take a miracle, which might happen, but I don't think many of us have ever seen that. So, so there we are. Already we embark on this thing called relationship or, you know, whatever, whatever we think. And, and, and already it's, it's got the seeds of entanglement and the seeds of, you know, what, I've, what I see as dysfunctionality because, you know, at best, really, two, two selves can, can make it through life and actually and have a good life, as, you know, of course they can, uh, relating from two selves. But generally speaking, 90% of the time, stuff comes up all the stuff that we talked about last week all of the stuff in the first week all of the 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 nooks and crannies the shadow bag that arrives when in a, a in an unexamined life in the unconscious state that ends up sprawling itself out into relationship so there it is and and i think that you know the context of of things which i just felt important to say is that the reason I think that Amoda and I have decided at this time to, to be even able to share um, the qualities, and this is what I was going to say, these are qualities, as you said, Amoda, these are the qualities of what is possible. And what we're pitching is what is possible when two people are no longer bringing their stuff to, into relating. Is it possible? I mean, how to get there is a tricky, you know, is a tricky number, which is what we're, we're, we're trying to unpack and, and, uh, and explore with everybody. And it's all got its own nuances and it's got its own stories and everything like that. But I think we do want to hold up the flag that, that relating from openness is very, very possible. It's not super ordinary. It actually becomes an expression of natural intelligence. Whether you're awakened before you go into a relationship or you've got two people who are willing to expose themselves to themselves and to each other. And the reason that I'm so emphatic about it is because we are in those times. Now, here we are. The world as such on a certain level is transforming. That means that everything within it is transforming. That means that we are transforming. That means that you have the possibility of transforming. I have the tr possibility of transforming. And relationships have the possibility of transforming, period. And my encouragement, the reason I'm excited about it is because I see that we could bring you know, we want to bring the possibility of this kind of relating into the world. Why not? We're heading into a, a, a new age, maybe. I don't know. You know, so I rest in the unknown. But these qualities that we're talking about, they're not weird qualities. The qualities of kindness, of openness, of, 
of being willing to expose the, uh, oneself, the qualities of humility, the qualities of tenderness. These are not rocket science. These are, these are part and parcel of the human condition. It's just that in society, in the conditioned state, they fall to the bottom rungs of the ladder and they don't make it to the top as the highest expression and the highest values of the human. And what, what, what we are saying, as well as this awakening thing, is actually those qualities are inherent in us. They're inherent in me. I don't, you know, if, if Amoda and I suddenly were not in relationship or she, she died or, you know, something happened, I wouldn't suddenly lose the qualities of kindness and tenderness and openness because they're imbu I'm imbued with them within my, it's the structure of my new dna -ing. and the same with her. So it's like, it's not, it's not a, a contract of if you are kind, I'll be kind. If you're tender, I'll be tender. No, no, no. This is like, it's tender all the way. It's open all the way. And so I, I, I kind of wanted to bring that, you know, to, to the table. And, and within that regard, I will read what I have written before. So there's something called, when two people meet in openness, true relating happens. True relationship is a meeting in openness where both parties are willing to see and be seen, wounds and all. This kind of relationship is not a thing. It's not a destination fixed in space and time. It is an ongoing process of opening and meeting each other in that openness. If this meeting is not happening or being courted in some way, it is not true relationship, it is something else. True relationship is not a battle there is no power involved. There is no control involved. All ego strategies, defenses, and past grievances are welcome to be exposed to love's openness. If two are willing to meet in such an openness, transformation happens, but there must be a great surrender by both parties, not just one. True relationship is the most tender of things, for we are all wounded in this area, and anything less than tenderness, openness and willingness will keep us closed and defensive. This doesn't mean there is no disagreement or difference. It is not a panacea of love and light. It is the willingness to show up fully with whatever is arising, not sometimes, not just when you feel like it, or when it's convenient, but always. The ability to show up fully, to just be there, even in the wreckage of the most terrible of feelings, transforms both of you. True relationship cannot be a battleground of egos, but a meeting place of openness. <laughs>